There we go. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I thought I'd take a quick little walk. Um, it's February 1st out in my garden and the soil's pretty, well, it's not all the way frozen really, but I wanted to just uh, show off some of the conifers I have growing that I planted out along my wood line. And this is all stuff that you guys can do too. Fairly cheap, um, especially if you uh, check out your local uh, soil and water conservation uh, services there. So look at this baby. Isn't she pretty? I grew this. I started building up this garden along the wood line just outside of the greenhouse with irises and lilies that needed divided. It was a great spot to put those. In the winter, it looked a little drab, so I decided to start adding conifers, which stay green all winter long. It's a great location with the river just 10 feet behind it. The birds love all the extra seeds and also the shelter the conifers provide. When I look at some of these conifers that are actually taller than me now, it's hard to believe they were just little 10, 12 inch sticks when I brought them to my garden less than eight years ago. This is the white pine. This is a fun one to grow. The um, uh, leaves or the needles on it are real soft and wisp. It grows fairly fast here in the wood line. And so this is a little frustrating. I'm out, I planted um, three, well actually, what did I put here, yeah. I planted three nice size American Vitae along this wood line here um, to kind of block the river a little bit. And <sighs> those dang deer. Just look at this. They kind of left the tops on a few of them, but I don't know if they nibbled on this or if they just rubbed their their heads or what happened, but I did notice a few big branches left that can easily be shoved back into the ground and those usually take root in the soil here. I've done that before with branches like this uh, years ago when this happened. Just look at this. It, it looks like they just rubbed up against it the other ones in the back are just fine. I almost wonder if it's where the buck was hanging out with the does last autumn when I spotted them back here. So all the way down back at the base, there's still some live branches and I actually stuck one of the other branches back in the soil here. I've had those root easily like this. The American Arborvitae is super easy to grow and they're fairly fast. The biggest challenge is keeping the deer out of the young saplings. The conifers I planted in this little mound. Just trying to fill this in. Friends for the big one there. But along the wood line back there, I don't know if you can see in between these two and Sasquatch, is where I planted the three large, oh, they were good size, probably four feet American Arbor Vitae. And uh, they just got taken down to the ground. Luckily, the deer haven't messed with these. So I'm in my back area here, in my little uh, area I like to call my my tree farm. <laughs> There's over 50 different uh, trees being babied right here that I actually bought. Uh, well, most of them are from the um, sale that's going on coming up here that you can order from. And you can find out more about your county uh, by contacting your local extension office uh, for details on tree sales and things like that. It's a great place to get your trees because they're all shrubs and seeds and things that will do well in your region. And uh, here they are here. Um, these are ones I babysit uh, for a few years till they get big enough. I'll show you the pots that I start them out in and uh, this is what I do to get them growing, get a head start before I put them out in the woods but or in other borders of my garden but uh, you don't have to do this. It's just kind of uh, fun. So here's one I've had for a couple years now. It's just getting nice and big which is cool. Um, and she's in a good, I don't know what is that, a couple gallon container there. And um, what I end up doing is moving these around, uh, pulling them out, pulling them out and making sure they have enough space to 
be shaped well um, but right now most of these are little babies and they're doing perfect in here now these are in a smaller container um, let me get around and show you what that looks like but this is the size it's like a half container you can order on eBay or recycle them from your garden center um, this one's a pretty one she's she's ready to go and of course I got some nice looking arborvitaes too so here's what the order form looks like that we fill out each year. Um, I'm in Wood County in Ohio, so we have the Wood Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, they have a website you can go to. They're on Facebook and Pinterest, and I guess that blogger is probably the website. Um, great folks up there, and you can call them or go on their website and print this up. They have a mail or two. Um, if you're not in that county, just visit your extension office online, give them a call, They'll hook you up with um, the different things that they have for sale in your area. We always keep our uh, order forms from year to year just so we can see what we have and see what worked. So far, it's been great. Um, like I said, the biggest challenge we've had is keeping the deer out of it or the one year we planted like 200 some arborvitaes out front and um, we had a flood and they were underwater for like three weeks and they all died, which was a big bummer. Um, some really cool stuff. I'm excited to put my order form in and these usually come in around April. We just go to the fairgrounds and pick them up and off you go. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to stop by my website for more creative ideas at brenhaas.com.